You are now tuned in to the Public Enemies, a.k.a. the Spark Foundation, a.k.a. Black DX, a.k.a. the Authors of Paid in Full, a.k.a. Undisputed Era Force Ones, a.k.a. the High Conics. That's, 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 that's how you do your gunshots? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Salute to everybody in the chat. Salute to everybody slide through. Salute to everybody watching on Twitch. Everybody on YouTube. Everybody listening. You feel me? Apple, Spotify, Google Play. You feel me? Whatever you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you choose. SoundCloud. We over there too. You feel me? It is what it is. Y'all talking about another episode, another edition right back at it. How my guys feeling? Y'all straight? Y'all in the building? Y'all good? What's going I'm on? Great, bro. Extravagant. And that and that guy down there, <laughs> who knows how he's doing? Who knows? Great. Who knows? Oh, you're great. I'm glad that you're great. Thank you. Salute the Vaughn, man. We appreciate that. 25k yeah. on the Twitter. Now all we got to do is I do my end of the job and get the other shit up. I guess I'm trying. All right, I'm trying. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, do the best I can. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Salute to everybody y'all talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, people with jobs, people without jobs, middle class, upper class, high class, all that. Cats, snakes, chickens, ducks, elderly people and twerkers. Another edition of the Public Enemies podcast. Y'all talking about how y'all feeling. Y'all good? <clears throat> great. Great. Y'all not extravagant. Y'all talk about yourself. We'll be right back. You see, this dude so always different, bro. Like, you're gonna have to find him 50 cents or something like that, bro. So, y'all sure, gonna find him 50 cent? He's gonna, go, he gonna go get cigarettes, nigga, and never come back, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh, man, you know what I mean? Let me go get some cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? I'll be right back, y'all. Don't worry, worry about it. Ladies and gentlemen, people with jobs, you know what I'm saying? Yes. People that listen to Little Wayne, people that don't listen to Little Wayne, you know what I'm saying? If you got the future album, and it's not his fault. It's not my fault either. Uh, cats, snakes, chickens, ducks, geeses, gooses, uh, meerkats, lions, tigers, and bears. I present to you episode you two, two, two three. Mic, you know what I'm episode two, two, three. You know what I'm saying? The bah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, murder edition. <laughs> I, 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 I thought heard. you were gonna come. I thought you were gonna come back when we got drafted in the NBA, bro. You thought I was gonna do what? You can't. You went and got a pack of cigarettes. We thought you was never coming back, bro. Oh, so you yeah, thought it was one of those. My moments. son right here. Yeah, my bro. son right here. You know what I'm saying? He, he yeah. got a 42 inch vertical, but it don't mean nothing. But you know what I'm saying? Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, well, then he can get jump. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, I really appreciate. Cause we got drafted to the Pelicans. Nah, nah. I just, I just had to dip out real quick because I had to fix my settings. You feel me? I appreciate y'all telling me I sounded like shit. Do I still sound like shit? Am I good? No, you, you sound yeah, like bro, regular, I don't, nigga. You I don't like have any Raycons, bro, so I don't know. Raycon, hey, listen. <laughs> I'm going to get niggas that like niggas <laughs> to give y'all a Raycon bro, sponsorship, so do that. Thank you. I don't I don't know how much longer I can support Ray J. You see that picture? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Salute to Ray J. That was dope. With the David Ruffin curl, nigga. Come on, man. Yeah, the who? That shit look. That shit look awful. He told he was, that man, uh, "Ain't what? nobody coming to see you. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Tank. Ain't nobody. Hey, ain't nobody coming to see you, Pleasure. Coming to see you, Sammy. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Buddy. Listen, Sammy. Sammy. Only thing you do is say strike one. Oh, look, that's about surprise. Strike two. Oh, right before your eyes. All right. Pitch three. This one's this to, one's the wall. to the wall. <laughs> Ain't no fun like a game of hard ball. You this feel me? Shout out to Lil Zane. <laughs> what are you Best doing? guy in the chat right there. Best guy in the chat. What's so, up with Josh? You feel me? Y'all want to get to it? Do y'all want to get to nah, it? Bro, let's, just, let's just riff for like an hour we and a half. Hang out. <laughs> we could just hang out for an hour and a half. We could always do that. You know what I'm saying? We could definitely always do that. Make sure y'all are following us at the enemies PE3 on Twitter, on Instagram. You feel me? Public Enemies Podcast on the YouTube. You feel me? Hey, the enemies PE3 on TikTok. 
by the way, we got a Facebook group now. Make sure y'all tap oh. in with that. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Y'all niggas be on Facebook. And if your mama's on Facebook, tell the followers because we're funny. We're funny for all ages. All Anyways, all I go by the no, name Oh My God, Graham. Jizzle's here. What's up with Jizzle? How you doing, bro? Nigga, I am fucking responsibly drunk tonight. <laughs> Responsibly drunk. Drink responsibly. That's what you gotta do, man. Yo, shout out to Reasonable Wrestling. Yeah, he is a legend, but salute. <laughs> but he dissed Bobby Brown, man. and Bobby Brown didn't even know it until niggas was like, "Yo, you know Ray J dissed you, right?" What? Yeah. And how would him. he know it? <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Brown. Oh, too busy. Yo, getting off a plane, nigga. Getting off a fucking helicopter with Ja Rule, nigga. He dissed me. Bro. Oh, I missed that. You said me and Ja Rule got off a plane together. Oh, Oops. Like, bro, if- if Bobby Brown didn't even know, like, yo, man, when he did the verses with uh against Keith Sweat, he's like, Yeah, we're not doing any, you're not you can't do any songs from New Edition, and then pulled up with like three songs by with, with New Edition. He was like, I thought we talked about this, man. We talked about this like two weeks ago. He's like, Oh, oh, I forgot about that, man. My bad. Yeah, my bad, Keith. Mr. Telephone Man. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. <laughs> it ain't cool. How I can't do Mr. Telephone Man. Nigga, I'm the only one singing on that shit. Nigga, yo, shut up. Shut up and watch um shut up and watch wrestling, Keith. Yo, we'll get to that. P E three S P N. You feel me? Yeah, well, yes. Oh yeah. Me. I got I got some shit for y'all tonight. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, wait. Kev. Kev is in the chat. He asked a very interesting question. So let's go ahead and talk about a very interesting episode of AEW Dynamite. A generational episode of AEW Dynamite. It, that shit was that shit yo, was great, it. bro. I put generational? You know what I'm saying? I put generational, you know what I'm saying? So Keeks, bro. So Keeks didn't let me on the show. Keeks let me on. I'm saying I'm wearing a Young Buck shirt. Stop hating. <laughs> <laughs> like, eventually I'm going to come on anyway. So either you're going to say yes or I'm going to say yes. So <laughs> you better give me a yes before I tell myself yes. But uh, I guess this is the uh, perfect time to mention that Keeks has announced on All Elite with Keeks she will be doing an all-out bingo game. You feel me? So if you would like to <sighs> tap in with that and play some all-out bingo, you know what I'm saying, with Keeks, you could definitely do so. Make sure you tap in with All Elite with Keeks and follow her at Dastardly Duo 3 for more uh, details on how that's all going to go down. Also, we're planning on doing a, uh, me and Keeks is talking about doing a uh, Friends and Enemies uh, post-show after All Out. We'll be live, <laughs> you feel me? So that'll yeah, be, be live at interesting. be live at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, it'll man, I like might be that, at work, man, but you know like what I'm saying? It'd be like that. <laughs> hey yo but yo, j- on this week's episode of AEW Dynamite you can see it in the title you can see House it in the Dragons, title nigga. of this week's episode you feel me you can definitely see it generational so, I think we should House- start right at the top with we that. should start right at the top we should start right at the top with Kenny Omega returning to AEW would you look at that the sweeper oh. Kenny the sweeper in the building He's back <laughs> Wearing all Holy black like he, this is crazy. Wearing all black like he just listened to a 2007 Ply song. That's what I'm talking about. Kenny Omega said, dressed in all black in my gun, the same color. Murder my enemy, love thy brother. And I ain't never gave about a motherfucker. Hit him up and watch the guts come up out of you. Hey, that's what he said, though. That's what hey, he said. Bro. He pulled up. He pulled this up. This was the story that they, hey, uh, yeah. I, I loved it. The story, that, and I love the story that they told the whole match. It was like, bro, he, like, I'm still kind of injured. I still got the Gatorade logo next to my name, but I'm going to come out <laughs> right here and help there. my boys. You know what I'm saying? My niggas need help. You know what I'm saying? So I can still do a little something to help my niggas yeah. help. You know what I'm saying? Like, he went for, like, the um the roll through, like, what he does, like, the um the fireman's carry, he goes for the roll through, and he fell on his ass. And it was like, yo, man, look, y'all just tag me in. Y'all just tag, y'all just tag me out, and I'm gonna go chill on the, I'm gonna go chill on the April for a little bit. He's not a hot tag, you know what I'm saying? Like a lukewarm tag, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? He's a there lukewarm you tag. You know what I'm saying? That's all he was. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I just got here. You know what I'm saying? Like Jordan didn't score 37 when he came back wearing 45. <laughs> like, listen, you niggas needed me. I'm here. You're welcome. Girl you know, said, my man was uh, held together by thoughts and prayers. You know, held you know together by and, bubble gum. and gorilla tape. <laughs> Yikes! 
Hey man, something that can, hey, something that AEW does is it was like if 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 you think that a nigga's gonna come back, guess what? He's coming. That nigga coming back tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, ain't no rumors, nigga. Yeah, you niggas was right. <laughs> that was hard though. They they played it out over over the last couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? With the young bucks needing a partner, they they you know what I'm saying? Well, not necessarily over the last two weeks necessarily with them needing a partner. You feel me? But. Hangman made the save. They was like, oh, shoot, well, Hangman saved us. Maybe Hangman could be our partner for this trios competition or, you know what I'm saying, tournament. We could be, you know, champions together. The Hung Bucks. Nobody does it like the Hung Bucks. And then... Nigga was like, nigga was like hey, listen, man, y'all niggas was hating when I won the championship. And y'all niggas have been hating for the last fucking six months. And Dark Order has been here for me the whole time. So, like, that's, that's, that's real admirable shit by Hangman. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do. Like, y'all my niggas, you know what I'm saying? But these are my niggas that have been hanging with me. So, uh, hey man, good luck. You know what I mean, like you can get other people. You're the young bug. You're saying y'all got shirts that Jizzle's wearing right now. So uh, you're gonna this, be all right. This match was fire. Okay, Andrade, Roosh, Dragon Lee, Young Bucks, and Omega, fire. What you think? What you thought was gonna happen, brother? Shout out to Hoosh. You know what I'm saying, yo, Hoosh. <laughs> Future. Yo, listen, they might have lost. But I guarantee you, as soon as they walk back behind that curtain, Tony Khan, Tony Khan came up to Dragon Lee and handed this man a contract and a direct deposit slip and said, how would you like us to pay you? And hug gave him a hug, how, too. How would you? Oh, for sure. He gave him a hug. You know that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, hug. Yo, so, man, I'm so sorry. Um, Chris off. Bosch. Was he Chris Bosch of that three of that three man trio? That's kind of shady. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> yo, I don't know why I mean, at that's... like the end of his match, they were like, yo, man, let's do some shit right as we're going off, like 20 seconds to go, and they just beat and drag and leave ass. <laughs> I was like, this, I was like, yo, this is bad timing, bro. Yo, stop this nigga out. Yo, that's the last thing y'all go see before y'all go to bed tonight. Hey, oh well. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. I love that clip. Nah, it was hard though. It was hard though. So salute to Kenny Omega. Uh, hopefully he'll be one hundred percent. It seemed like he came back a little early. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's what they were. That's what they were selling. You know what I'm saying? He had the the compression shirt on. He had the brace and all of that. So I'm like, okay, maybe my hey, guy is bro. like ninety two percent. What's hey, up, bro? I I ain't got a vertigo no more. As long as I ain't got a vertigo no more, we're lit. <laughs> this nigga wrestle with vertigo. <laughs> He wrestled with vertigo, nigga. He did wrestle, wrestle with vertigo, a hernia, sore throat, all that shit. Bro, this this niggas that's watching this shit right now, they can't even stand up too fast, you know what I'm saying, when I was sitting back down, nigga. This nigga wrestled with vertigo, nigga. <laughs> Get that like, man in that respect, respect y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Get that man his respect, nigga. I stood up too fast this morning, nigga, and fell back down and go to bed, nigga. I was two hours late to work. So I understand, nigga. Yo, listen, yo. Welcome back, Kenny. Best bout machine is back. Salute to the guy. You feel me? Let's 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 take it to the beginning of the show now. Because at the beginning of the show, they opened with a promo by the current AEW World Heavyweight Champion, C M Punk. Ben. What'd you think about this promo? Because I, I missed it initially and I had to double back so I could see it. Oh my God. Like, yo, he was just saying shit to get John Moxley to come out. Cause first he came out and he was like, yo, I want to have a rematch against Adam page for the title. And then Adam page didn't come out and they're like, yo, Adam page is doing something backstage. Man didn't come out. So <laughs> then after that, he just started throwing shots at Blackpool combat club. He was like, yo man, look, Right, Look, you ain't you been the third best member of your group when you was in WWE and now he's like that's just the story of your career isn't it huh and then he started going in on um on Eddie Kingston and Eddie Kingston didn't even do nothing he was like yo man Eddie Kingston you the second best Kingston I ever shared a locker room with yeah, shout out to WWE champion whatever he was just fry he was just frying up John Moxley and he was saying everything that I thought he was gonna say I thought he was calling Dean Ambrose but he might as well have with all the shit he was talking, bro. He came out to the ring and he was like, "Yo, man, I would, I would put my hands on you, but I'm just scared you're gonna bleed all over me." 
I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, Roman is set at the house watching you get tore up. Bro. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Exactly what he they said. said watching get fried up, bro. He said, tell me when I'm telling lies. <laughs> He wasn't about to. He wasn't big dog. I promise you. <laughs> he he just went in the whole time, and John Moxley had some good comebacks. He was like, "Yo, man," but they, they were they were kind of ass. He was like, "Yo, man, all you care about is a check because because you needed the money." He was like, "Bro, I'm yeah. the, I'm the dollar yeah. and cents of this company, bro." He said, "You could be the heart and soul if you want to. I just be you the, I, be... I just be the dollar and cents." Yeah, they got the. Oh, there's a fifties of this bitch, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? Hundreds and fifties. That's kind of cold. Big Billy K got some big ass. Okay, I'm gonna chill. Hey man, <laughs> yo, shout out, to, to shout go? out to Australia. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Yo, I'll kill them big so, spiders for you, Jessica McKay. They- but, uh, they cut that. They cut that promo right. They had that back and forth. It turned into a knockout, drag down, whatever smack, whatever the people be saying when they be saying a slapper. Right? A slapper. Yeah, they nah, call nah, it a slap people, now. Yeah, Stop you got calling that too. wrestling matches slaps, white people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. All it. Oh my god! Wrestling matches don't slap. Food does not slap. Stop. Cut it out. Stop. Cut it out. The Bay Area I, said so. Could we? Could we? One we time, turn, bro. Bitch ass niggas. I said this one time, and I got it wrong, and I said it on the Twitter account. And I'm looking in the group chat, and I'm seeing this man, this man up here, <laughs> give me a full <laughs> definition of the word. I said, you know Listen. what? I never use it again. <laughs> I never use it again. Listen, so you don't nigga. get this confused no more. <laughs> slap. I just gotta give people come for the look, come for the terms of slappe. You know what I'm saying? Most of these people are to say for a Yuck Mouth or E-40 song in 2005. Yo, they booked this match for next week. It's not even on All Out. This is next week on Dynamite. Nah, CM bro, we're Punk doing this right now. We're doing it versus now. Moxley. What? Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> we'll do it live. <laughs> if a show said we'll do it live, you feel me? Salute to Dan Marino. I'm Graham Yo. Marino, by the way. I hope y'all hey, know so, that. So... So what are we thinking? Cause so who's gonna fight it all out? So I gotta think. That's the who that's done the it. Thing. Well, okay, let's take it back to what Kev said earlier. Okay. What about MJF? Ooh, that'll be the perfect time to bring him back. What if it's Mercedes and fucking Trinity or the nigga that broke into their car? We'll talk about that later. He, if he it's MJF, shit. we could talk about that later. If it's it MJF, Wardlow. Wardlow. it's definitely not going to be Wardlow because I think they said something about uh, uh, FTR and Wardlow versus Jay Lethal, Santam Singh, and Sanjay Dutt. They challenged them to a trios match at All Out. They did that. What? I don't know. I'm that trying, better be wanna... like a, a, a pre-show match or something. Yeah, like that. you know what I'm saying that's definitely on the buy-in. This is, this is something I got to watch on fucking YouTube on accident. Yo, who is good? What are you going to do for All Out if you're going to do this now? I don't know. Especially if All Out's going to be. So if All Out's going to be in Chicago, that means what? What do you mean? (laughs) If All Out's going to be in Chicago, we're doing the fucking fucking unification match two weeks before that. Who do you think is going to win the fucking title? Who's unifying what? Oh, yeah, I can't call it. (laughs) Who's unifying what? Because when you think about it, Moxley Moxley should win this match. In my eyes, I'm the champ, nigga. Adam says, what about MJF? Terry says, let MJF do his thing. And do do his thing like what, nigga? Tristan says, Rabbi Friedman for sure might be lurking. Where Dynamite going to be next week? I don't know. Honestly, I never know where any of these shows it's are. Gonna be, it's going to be it's gonna be at a Walmart near you, nigga. That's where it's going to be at. You, you guys think I'm like Will Washington? I'm just like an, an encyclopedia of knowledge? No, I'm not. Graham, this is why this is why people listen to them more because they're more educated and more fucking... <laughs> Mox lose in Cleveland. Maybe Kev might have just answered our question. Are they in Cleveland next week? Cleveland Who the is fuck the wants city to go to Cleveland? Come from, so rum, rum, for, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and that's it. I don't know, man. Bro, MJF would be perfect. MJF would be oh, 
He would he would uh he backed up the feud with him and Punk. I don't know if that's necessary though. That's my only thing. I don't know if that's necessary. It's Bro. just like that match that match has so much that happened. You were saying that turned the course for AEW, like Warlow turned and now he's fucking on this on the verge of being the champ and then like all this shit left and then he did the fucking promo and then so like I don't know if you can like even go back to that. But if anybody should face the champion at all out, it should be him. Like, bro, One I don't thing, know about bro. like about about reheating that robbery as well. That shit is like two day old pizza in the in the refrigerator. Like, bro, you heat that shit up, yeah. it's gonna be like, yo, it's gonna be warm. It's gonna be soft for like thirty seconds. That shit gonna like seize back up. That shit gonna that shit gonna rock up. You feel yeah, me? That shit like, rock up yeah, like bro, me like, when like, I crack, saw Kevin <laughs> Oh. Gonna rock up like them. That's disappointing yeah, to hear that he out. said that. He said that. That's some questions. Are there. That's crazy. Hold on, hold on. Did this man you just go back, back to back, back with? You can't back, back to back, 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 back with drops. I was, I was just about to say that. They're like, you just go back to back. Myself, like that. You say you can't be doing it. <laughs> hey, check this out. This, hey, check this out. I Daniel Garcia. Know. And Brian Danielson went back to back. This bro, two out of three problem. falls match also fire, bro. When they said the House of Dragon, nigga, the first thing I thought of was fucking old goat dragon. There was, I was like, oh yeah, nigga, Game of Thrones been doing some shit too. Hit the light button, yo. House of Dra- yo, double entendre. Don't ask me how. Shout out to TK for that one, nigga. <laughs> like, that was a that was a double hey. entendre for your, yo. for your for your face for hey. your face hole. Tony Khan heard what y'all been saying. He he heard, he saw all them tweets about Triple H is on my neck. He 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 heard everybody when y'all was talking about this is the worst episode of Rampage ever. He heard all of that when he was at the little preseason game with the Jags up in the booth calling the game. You feel me? He was like, oh, okay, okay. Y'all said worst Rampage ever. Catch me on Wednesday. You, you feel me? Let's 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 talk about it. You. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Brian Danielson versus Do Rag Danielson. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? DDJ, you know what I'm saying? Do Rag Danielson Jr. Yo. But Durag Garcia Dragon. stepping to Jericho? Hmm? Yeah, nigga. What does uh, Jericho go to do? Like, listen, like you, you niggas really think Jericho is still doing something? He is not LeBron James. He is Udonis Haslam of this of wrestling. Me okay. personally, <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> take this level of disrespect. He ain't got no choice, nigga. What you go do, nigga? I'll race you right now. <laughs> I can beat Jericho in the race running backwards. I bet you. And I'll even be running. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what did he yeah, say? He pulled up on him. He was like, yo, okay. man, you got beat his ass. He's like, I don't know. I don't want to do that. I respect him. He's like, nah, bro. He got to beat his ass. I'm going to take off this white belt. <laughs> he pops. <laughs> this polyester belt. I'm going to beat your ass if you don't do it. <laughs> Got this shit with the tip Dynamite <laughs> is in Cleveland next week. You feel me? Oh, yeah. So, so that nigga, that nigga about to lose in the Darius Garland jersey. Clearly, Matt uh, says the you're a wrestler chant gave me life. <laughs> Everybody's oh, a wrestler now. Hey, hey, listen. Everybody's you're not a, a sports wrestler entertainer. Now. They said Everybody's you're not a sports a entertainer, now. though. Except the except the Jericho Appreciation Society, they're sports oh, yeah, entertainers. They're the only sports entertainers in in, in, in the game now. Since, yeah, I you think know, like two and a half weeks ago. I take that back, bro. You know, it was it wasn't corny. Yo, yo, is, is, I, is, is, is I Daniel, didn't think about it. Yo, is Daniel Garcia gonna is gonna flip sides like flip from G to BD? <laughs> you, might have, you might have to flip. You're like you said, like yo, man, y- y- y'all niggas be rocking like how I be rocking, man. I don't know if I can rock with Jericho, man. He got a new, he got a new tummy tuck. You know what I'm saying? With new abs and shit. Like I don't know how he's feeling. Like so, mm-hmm. so like I want to come over here with y'all, man. Y'all be bleeding and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind bleeding. I bleed a little bit, <laughs> bro. Yo, they're the only they're the only sports entertainers in the game. Like uh uh Kevin Owens and Drew McIntyre said we're wrestlers in a wrestling ring, so let's <laughs> wrestle. Like, so they the only sports entertainers out here now. Do you think this leads to Daniel Garcia leaving the Jericho Appreciation Society? Why don't you gotta turn on Jericho? You can do a whole you can do a whole program off that. Well, they just did a they just had a whole, you know, 
a little little not a kerfuffle really but they had a little face off like oh okay you step into me you feel me like oh don't disrespect me just because i lost this match he's the goat you feel me like what are you talking about <laughs> and he lost two to him and, hold on hold on just he lost two falls back to back definitively lost this match damn <laughs> like like the celtics nigga. like we was up two one nigga. like oh damn man steph gave me 42 41 and 30 like damn blood what you can do about that mm. Hey man, I don't know, man. What are you supposed to do with that, man? He is the goat, man. Look at him, man. He ain't, and he ain't wrestling in two months. You know what I'm saying? So he's all well rested. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think we're gonna get a. Man. You fight him, I don't big think homie. We're... Okay, um, I don't <laughs> think we're going to get a Jericho Garcia feud, at least not just yet. But um, at all out, I feel like we might get Danielson and Jericho in a match. For the love of um, for the love of uh, Daniel Garcia, they're gonna have like his adoption papers above the ring, like Eddie and uh, and Ray. <laughs> in a briefcase, <laughs> they would do some shit like that. They'd be like, "Yo, man, when he jo- winner is he joins whoever's faction." They would do some shit like that. Yo, it's all it's all out in Chicago again. Put that shit in a deep dish pizza or something. You know what I mean? Like, yo, come get this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who want the right Daniel Garcia bro. in this deep dish pizza? This this pizza cake. That's nasty, bro. <laughs> yeah the um so yeah all out is definitely in chicago again you know they don't go nowhere else other than chicago they chicago and walmart you know what i'm saying it's lit yeah, for sure chicago walmart <laughs> that's that's pretty much it you feel me sometimes um, shout out to thunder rosa i love you oh also by the way thank you for that jizzle thunder rosa versus tony storm is now official for all out that is your women's is title it? match could they will they coexist? Listen, all you AEW <laughs> well, will will they coexist is so stupid. <laughs> well, will they coexist is right in your fucking face the entire time. I'm glad I got to do something. I'm glad I got I'm, I'm glad to get I'm glad AEW is trying to put women to do something kind of almost. Shout out to Chris Statlander who's saying hello, Shorty. You know what I mean? My favorite Shout alien. Out to Chris Statlander. Put the so title. Right. On Tony Storm, just do it. No, <laughs> check this out. Check this out. Check this out, though. Uh, New Japan, the partnership with Stardom. Now, there's gonna be more Stardom. You feel me? Women oh, on man. New Japan. You feel me? They they might do the <clears throat> Wrestle Kingdom thing. Tony Storm has. You feel me? Stardom history. Yeah, you feel Stardom me? History. So yeah, she's we like can the doctor, do that. She's like the Doctor. She's like the Doctor Dre of uh, Stardom. You know I'm saying she went over to the NBA. Was like, let me bring all my partners over. Here's George Gerber. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, yeah. I feel it. I think that she's she's she look Tony uh excuse me not Tony Storm but Thunder Rose has been a champion since St. Patrick's Day since March. I know, bro. And it hasn't been necessarily been working. She's been it doing hasn't her best, though, but she's been doing her best, dog. Like what what at what did uh, Tom's lunch say? He's like, listen, man, <laughs> listen, we've been doing better by ourselves and as a group all the time. Like how we booking is how we book. You know what I'm saying? That's up to the person that's doing it. I don't like, ever want man, you book to. Up. I, I never want you to quote Bobby Fish on this podcast ever again. It's disappointing to hear that he said that. He said that? That's what the question said, yeah. That's crazy. Real quick, salute to Wiz. Wiz says, uh, by the way, check out his Kendrick Lamar, uh, you feel me, review series that he's doing as far as on the uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Track by track yeah. review of these records are pretty dope. But he says yeah, here, I is going to be crazy. Hey, hey, hey. That's a lot. I think I know that that's but that's already out, by the way. So if y'all want to check that out, y'all can check that out. But to the comment though, he says, uh, I think I know what they're doing to beef up all out because Clash at the Castle is the day before and possibly take over the same day. Interesting. Hmm. Mm. Hey, did you do this when you type hmm like this? Like H M M M M M M M M M M. You're right. I don't think you can do a takeover right now, especially. I don't know, man. I think it's going to be. Let's, let's hold off on NXT opinions right now because we got to go to 2.0 block in a little bit. And we can this conversation. That's a whole segment. <laughs> All out, man. Are they doing it? Are they doing Are they going to do another Battle Royal type thing, you think? What, I all out? So. Like a casino battle yeah. royale? Probably. But, like, 
Why would you not? Why do you do that? Not at anything but double or nothing because it's in Vegas. Like I just don't under, like it's just little stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm just like, come on, dog. They did do it but, at Walmart that one year, but they didn't really. Yeah, the shit was it lit is. though. You know what I'm saying? Right next to the right next to the roll ro- 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 out prices. You know what I'm saying? You want some fucking mulch? Right next to the mulch and the bikes. Damn. I Y'all want to do uh, small package news? Yeah, we could, bro. Real quick. Real quick. Something <clears throat> light. Something easy. You feel me? Sunny Kiss is back on TV. Whoop, whoop. She joined. She, my apologies. Oh. She joined she, the Trust Busters. Harlan is. Is, yeah. Parker Bordeaux, who now has an AEW contract, Slim J, and. Aria Davari. Ari Davari, who has me blocked on Twitter. Yeah, nigga, what's, what's your problem? Oh, <laughs> Rightful, uh, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Me I'm personally, I, I, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. I probably deserve that one. I probably deserve <laughs> that one. <laughs> no, nah, man. man. Listen, listen, Bill. You block him, block all of us. Well, that's Come what he said. No, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. You'll like Graham. You'll like all. me because I feel the exact same way. Does Callisto block all of y'all? No. Nah. <laughs> nope. Salute to Callisto. <laughs> so so, so always, Calisto, you know what I'm saying? Kev says, I still don't right know right how. Right. Can I read the comment? I still don't know how I feel about the trust busters. I don't, I don't think like anybody the, cares about the trust busters. They feel no. like if you well, random, there. I care not and, and just kisses grabbed there. a bunch of <laughs> random people to put in a to put in a match. That's what that shit feels like. Yeah, basically, pretty much. Dude, uh, trust Busters just seems kind of like, it seems like right to center to me without no ivory. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> right to center. Like, right to center with tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Like a cooler right to center, like that cool like that cool ass fucking um, youth pastor. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love Salute Jesus, right but I'll be listening to rock shit. Salute. Big yeah, salute. Man, Big I action. love Jesus. I used to do coke. I love Jesus now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I used to take my mama's perfume, say, so I could buy cocaine and opium. You know what I'm saying? Jesus veins. You know say I love Jesus and I ride a motorcycle. I'm like, cool. Bro, you see, these, right, you see these sunken veins, bro? It's my testimony. <laughs> Hell with a God, nigga. Next up, real quick. <clears throat> this Friday, if you're listening to the audio tomorrow, Black Girl Magic, <clears throat> make sure y'all stay tapped in, stay <clears throat> tuned in. You can get your tickets now if you haven't already gotten your tickets. This is going to be an amazing card. Beautiful women, beautiful people, as y'all talking about. Listen, this is going to be a fire show top to bottom. You might want to tap in. We have decided to sponsor the show. There's a singles match. Gia Scott. Salute to Gia Scott. the, The greatest damn woman in the game. You feel me? (laughs) <laughs> so we the greatest sponsored, damn woman the, the greatest damn woman you feel me we sponsored gia scott in this match with demarius dawkins so make sure y'all stay tapped in stay tuned in this will be uh i think it's going to be streamed on title fight uh title match excuse me uh pretty <laughs> soon here so if you haven't gotten your tickets if you're in the new york area and you want to go make sure y'all tap in with cash magic and go ahead and get y'all tickets you feel me straight like that you did let's go Let's go. You feel Shout me? out to black women. Yeah, yeah, bro. Just in general. Always, always, bro. Always. Of course. And forever. Shout out I don't know if y'all women. I don't know if y'all knew this. It might be a little secret. Don't tell nobody. My mom is a black woman. So is mine. <laughs> yeah, Yours bro. Too? That just stays that just stays between us. You you too. On GOD. Damn, bro. My too. Yeah. What? Yeah, bro. Oh, that's so damn, bro. I don't want to tell nobody. That's just that's just that's it. y'all don't tell nobody either. Uh, trying, uh, trying, you know what I'm saying? Listen, to listen, this, house, this, 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 it's a secret between us and y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because we love y'all. That small package news. You know what I'm trying, saying? We I'm got black mothers. Trying to get a, I'm trying J-Champ. to get a proof for a house, bro. I don't want to get a champ says, in a fear. Who snitched to TK, though? Hmm. Well, who done it? Dun, dun, dun. Hey, what's I see at? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, y'all. You raped her. No, you know what I'm saying? I see. What's I see at? You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, yeah, you did it. You know what I'm saying? Me and you was in the hood together. Moose. It was Moose. Definitely it was Moose. I no way it could be like, Moose. Yo. He just looked like 
No way. He looks like a lot of things. Other people business. He like we tell. He looks like a lot of things all at once. One of you guys can talk. Both of you can't talk at the same time. Oh, if we both got the same thought, you know what I'm saying? We could both talk. I think (laughs) both of you should not talk at the same time. (laughs) Can't talk when I'm drinking, Graham. Let me talk. (laughs) It was moose. Did nobody say nothing? It was moose, y'all. I think it was Moose nah, or or Tom's Lunch. That's what I think it was. Tom's Lunch. Uh, I think All right, Brian so, uh, chill out, chill out, chill out. I got you. Nobody else wants to lay out what happened. I'll lay out what happened. There was a report uh, that Triple H or 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 maybe not, maybe not. Let me not say that because I'm I'm talking out of turn if I say that. There was a report that that the WWE may have been engaging in some contract tampering with the contracted AEW talent. Now, the question is, or the question has been, who done it? Does this person have a beard? Mm. Yes. Pyro or not? Does this person have pyro? That's a good question. Let's play a little game of guess who. <laughs> because the timeline, so. the time, oh. the timeline did a lot of blaming, uh, finger pointing. I saw a lot of – listen. Yeah, listen. yeah, a lot of blaming of a black man. Stop doing that, motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, that we're like, I, don't give, I don't give a fuck what y'all think about him. You know what I'm saying? The first thing that nah, we're not going to do is blame a black man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm always – like, he's going to be my last resort. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas went straight nah, to son. You know what I'm saying? Like, pl- oh, yeah, they I bet you was him. him up out of there. They plucked him up out of there. I was like, yo, man. I bet you it was him. Like, yo, man, if you don't leave that man alone, nigga, that nigga's a fucking champ well, right well, now. Well, why are you telling on Triple H? Why you why why you want to talk to Sean Ross at, but you don't want to put your name out there? This is why whoever this was didn't want to put their name out there. They were just sitting up in there, like, yeah, man, did you kill so, them? I can't, yeah, I killed the people, bro. But I can't wait till it was, it figure out it was one of them ass boys that did that shit, nigga. How dare y'all? And the first person that y'all blame is a black. I was nigga. I was so mad. You know what I'm saying? Dude, like, you think it was? I was like, no, I don't think it was him, nigga. So, How dare so y'all? Think it's really the bad? first thing that you bring to me. Mm. A man of culture says it was definitely Andrade or Swerve for real. Man, get the fuck out of here, nigga. I'm married to Charlotte Flair, nigga. I'm half of the fucking AEW Tag Team Champions, nigga. Like, what do I have to tell about for, nigga? And my best friends are back, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Brent Baker's the dark horse. (laughs) Yo, it it was definitely um, uh, Baker Mayfield DMD. But um, it like how, like why do y'all go straight to them? Like that's not 147 niggas from a from WWE that's over there that that could get recontacted. But the funny thing was, like the, the <laughs> report said, the talent felt that the, the talent is happy in AEW and felt that management needed to know. <laughs> I'm like wait wait, so you a oh, happy man. snitch? You a grateful? If you snitch. get your Randall from Recess ass on out of here, Miss Finster, Miss Finster ass nigga, like bro, sit your yeah, ass down. Man. Charleston White face ass nigga. Like, who, who, who's Charleston White over at AEW right now? Hey, well, that I nigga deserves to go to jail. You gotta be somebody <laughs> black, damn. That's Charleston said White loose. said, Charleston White said, we need some strong snitches. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's gonna do said, it and not afraid to go back. Yeah, teach him how to fight too. That way, if you fuck with him about telling, that kick your ass. <laughs> Oh, it was the show Scorpio Scott in. Oh, oh. that's crazy, like, Yo, man. man. You you happy over there? The, the, you the funny thing is, there? if Yo, you play the, like a, the Ti, is you happy? So you can kind of play like uh like uh what's the what's the like uh damn what's the guess what's who? the game? Guess who? No, no. I mean, you could play guess who, but you could play like um I can't even think of the name of the shit. You feel me when motherfuckers do like. Uh, well, whatever, flip, flip it down and shit. No, you know how like you you whatever it is what it is, nigga. But still, still, hey, regardless, don't say he thinks it's Matt Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dustin Rose, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody reaching out for Matt Hardy, bro. Dustin yeah. Rose though, Dustin Rose though. Bro, I don't know if it's Dustin I, Rose. I, I, I mean, don't unless, think unless it's some him niggas, either. Unless some niggas is poor, you know what I'm saying. Kind of like Lana, you know what I mean? Like I'm saying, they don't like poor niggas. Why y'all niggas poor? That's what they said. You homeless? Just stop being homeless. 
Yo, you what, got what a phone are you doing? From? You got a phone and shit. <laughs> you say, man, hey, does, you, does this person have a phone and shit? How you know it's not my Obama phone? <laughs> no, we get them how for you, free. You feel me? How do you know it's not my Obama phone? Yo, yo, did, yo, like, yo. yo did the per did the person have an Obama phone? And he sent that shit to Sam Ross Seth from an Obama phone. Ooh. Oh my Who god. Who done it, my man? He that was definitely a burner cell. He definitely got that shit from a Dollar General, dropped that shit in the trash. Was it Kevin nah, Durant? Never find me, bro. <laughs> I don't was it know, Kevin man. Durant? We'll find out on PE3 SPN later. Yeah. <laughs> Probably was Kevin Durant, though. Was it Kevin? Yeah, that's crazy. That's funny. I will say um there was one more uh one more report that came out. And technically, I guess this wasn't a report. This was just like a um uh, a recollection of the events that happened. Just Sasha Banks. <clears throat> her and uh, Naomi, her and Naomi went to the, the She-Hulk premiere. And then Sasha Banks decided she was going to take a trip up north. Why would Oakland. you go to Oakland, Queen? I got the video. <laughs> Let's check out the video. Five minutes in Oakland. Just five minutes. Was it your mouth? <laughs> Was it yuck mouth? <laughs> Dude, whoever it? whoever done it, whoever done it, were they listening to yuck mouth as they did it? It was probably G <laughs> somebody listening to G Val or All Black or something, you know. Definitely for Gate, sure. Nigga. It was if for sure somebody to listening Gate. to they was listening to All Black <laughs> drinking dog water. Listen, y'all don't understand Bro. what's happening here. Let me talk to y'all real quick. Just like this man oh. said earlier. Just like this man said earlier <clears throat> when he said that a wrestling match slapped and I gave him a whole descriptor, you feel me, of what slapping means and what a slap the is source, bro. And, how, and, and how the word actually works. The, the source ass I, thing. <laughs> listen, I almost gave the timeline a, a, a history lesson and I almost gave the timeline. That's funny. It was Young T.O. It was hilarious. Yo, I almost gave the timeline a little bit too much than I cared for because I saw that there was there was there was some guy, and I don't know who the guy is. You feel me? They were saying, "Oh, dude is so intrusive. Dude be stalking Sasha or whatever, whatever," because he said she was at the cookie store uh, in Oakland. You feel me? Listen, if you know, you know the cookie storefront. Pretty much everywhere you go, everywhere you can find the, the cookies, cannabis, the store, location, dispensary, the building is the same fucking color. That same shade of blue. And so when you see also the cookies logo directly behind her, you know where she is. You feel me? So with that said, to some of you that were like, Oh, I can't believe someone did that to Sasha Banks. I can't believe they broke her window. Listen, nigga, it doesn't you in matter. Oakland, nigga, nigga, it doesn't don't matter. Care. Look, you don't. We don't care about you in the Bay Area, nigga. Two chains got robbed on the street, nigga, at twelve thirty-seven p.m., nigga, and then it he did a concert that I went to go watch. It don't Bro. matter who you are, where you are. It didn't matter that it was Sasha Banks. It don't even listen. It, whoever it was, wherever it was, whenever it was, that window was getting cracked. That window was getting bipped. I tried to let y'all know how this works. You feel me? On the AEW, who we are. You feel me? If you listen to the Powerhouse Hobbs record, you feel me? I tried to let y'all know, but some of y'all, you feel me, might, might need to be caught up to speed. Is that meet the flock? Your window gonna get bit. Your window gonna get bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was here for five minutes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We did that shit three minutes ago. <laughs> like, as soon as you got like, in the car, yo. we did that shit, actually. You remember that episode that everybody hates Chris? Like, nigga broke into the car to get a brick <laughs> with another brick. <laughs> like, nigga, that's exactly what happened. Because nigga got in there, and she was like, yeah, man, hope you're having fun with these hair care products. I'm like, bro. Nah, bro, got I back, am, bro, got, bro got back to the crib looking at this shit. It was like, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> Lori, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. We looked in the bag like, I'm going to use this bag at least. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The bag's Man, getting used. Put my gun in this bag. <laughs> so that was that, right? 
Yo, give Sasha Bank. Yo. yo, call Shati. Yo, so, yo, Mercedes, call Shati. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She she, she knows she what's going on. She town. got the pulse of the town. She's from the town. She got the pulse. Call shots. Sure. How you cause cause honestly, how are you gonna go to Oakland to the cookie store without Missy High as shit? How you gonna do that? Hood Slam would not approve of this, Sasha. I'm sorry. Never. Anyway. See, if you had the greatest damn woman ever, you know what I'm saying? You had somebody to kick him in the face. Damn, man, this is such Baltimore shit. You know what I'm saying? This is some shit that that Ben's supposed to be telling us about. So, right. <laughs> can we talk about can we can we talk about how as of late with all of these returns with everything going on you got Kenny Omega coming back on AEW tonight last week you had CM Punk you feel me next week or the week after or somewhere in the not not too distant future we might get MJF but we've got mm. Bailey Io Sky Dakota Kai the coldest. You feel me? We've also gotten Karrion Cross. We got the return yep. of <clears throat> Hit Row. Y'all talking about, Ooh. I'm talking about Brianna Brandy. I'm talking about Tahuti Miles Asante, the Adonis. I'm talking about Top Dollar, who hotter than Top Dollar. That's not nada. You feel me? And then we get the, oh. the, the, the infinity gauntlet of returns is what it seems like. You feel me? This oh. has been crazy. It was insane. Like, <clears throat> and bro started off like the day before. I think it was PW Insiders who reported. They're like, yeah, he's gonna. They're like, yeah, Top Dollar's gonna be at SmackDown. They're like, B Fab's gonna be at SmackDown. And uh, <laughs> they're like, yo, all three of them are gonna be there. And then he got up on there and was like, nah, bro, I ain't gonna be showing up nowhere. People were plugging the interview that we did underneath the tweet. I was like, yo, listen to what he said right here. He ain't going back. He ain't doing that. And just for him to pop up the next night, and I knew that shit when I was watching it, and they were like, yeah, this they're, uh, this is tag team. They're, they're in the ring right now. They don't know who their opponents are. I was like, yo, watch it. Watch, yeah. watch it be these niggas. No, this shit, this shit yeah, is looking yeah, like... Yeah, bro. I was bro, like, bro, this shit is... This shit is looking like the scream tour in this motherfucking. You know I'm saying, bring all the niggas back. We're bringing them all back, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's for sure looking like the scream tour. <laughs> it's looking like the scream tour right now. You know what I mean? Like you said, let's, let's let's get the gang back together. Yeah, everybody, where we go? Kimmy kept screaming. I said, you know, this should be the scream tour. <laughs> JD yo, brazen it. Yo, JD with brazen a headband is the sickest time in in, in life. Because everybody had Sick braids. Ahead, time. That's when he was getting all of the money. He was getting all of the money. What you talking back about? When back when he had that Bentley. Bow wow. <laughs> what you talk about? Hey, 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 check this out. We need Bow Wow. We need B2K. You feel me? We, we need, need IMX. Uh, what's- we need IMX. We need, and then we just need Marcus Houston after that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll, need, we'll need Romeo and fucking the other one, nigga. We need Mario. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? <laughs> what? Who who's the Mario of AEW? Who's the Mario of NXT? <laughs> Somebody Mario of AEW. Yo. Oh, who's the Mario Yo. of AEW? Think about it right now. Is uh, the Mario oh, of NXT oh. Carmelo Hayes? No, don't you ever disrespect Carmelo Hayes like that? Damn, but that's Mario, cool. The Mario, the Mario, the Mario like of Mario. AEW, the you Mario of AEW. Mario. He has to be Dustin Rose. Dustin Rose is the Mario of AEW. All right, don't ever disrespect Mario like that. What are we doing here? <laughs> what? Look, like, first of all, Mario can never paint half of his face. You know what I'm saying, say I'm the son of the son of a son of a plumber, and and the brother <laughs> and the brother of a fuck of the king of the south. You know what I'm saying that makes that makes him the, the the scar of the south. That's crazy. The scar of the south. The Ooh. question is, the question is, and and no pun intended, because not 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 in the Goldberg sense, but the question is, who's next? You feel me? Come back. There's been rumors about Johnny Gargano. Like you just said, there's been rumors about The Fiend. Leo Rush was teasing this past week. Niggas like AB, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Jerry Jones, call me. (laughs) Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, but for sure. I got you, blood. (laughs) You sound like AB and Jerry Jones. Yo, no, no, it's no, let's not not be right. Let's be honest. Salute the AB man. Put that shit on. Yo. That whole that whole video of Leo was just like most of it was clips of him 
in NXT and on the main roster, he posted a picture of him with Bobby Lashley. And like, that's what led everybody to speculate. Like, yo, you coming back? Bro, but, like, that's such nigga be, shit. <laughs> Let me like, post bro. a fucking video of me doing hella shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but to be honest, bro. Go ahead. To, to be honest, Triple H is the only guy, I don't want to say c- that could control Leo Rush. He's the only guy that seems to be able to work with Leo Rush because after Leo had the um the run on the main roster with Bobby and they split him up, he was kind of like indifferent to like staying in WWE. Like they were apparently on the outs. And then he brought him back and was like, like you can go to NXT, put the cruiserweight title on him. And they were having like they were having good rivalries. Him and Angel Garza had a um had a good rivalry down there, and then he ended up getting released. And like it's been like a retirement here, retirement there. Went to um AEW for five months. Said thing up said, uh, yo need to apologize to Swole, and then was out of there. But I, I'd love to see him like come back and get his shot again because like. Even though he be retiring and be like, yo, man, I'm out of here and be doing some wild shit sometimes. He's great in the ring. He's great on the mic. He's great character wise. He just needs somebody to not to rein him in, but he just needs somebody who can work with him because like he's 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 um next level, bro. He's not thinking about this time like right now, like, yo, man, I'm I'm a black wrestler. I'm kind of small. I'm trying, I'm I'll stay in the back. Like, nah, bro. He's like, yo. I see this shit right here. I went in on this too. Yeah. Cruiserweight title on the way too. He did Leo actually. was the first ever right. release in AEW. <clears throat> nah, but it wasn't. They Well, yeah. they said it wasn't a release. They're like, yo, this, our trial run has come to an end. Yeah, yeah we, I mean, amicably, for five we amicably. Months? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Hey, this nigga Leo got released. Which is like, damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man! All right, TK, show. Sure. Like, damn, bro. Yeah, and I don't, that, and I don't like the. the Fournette, though. I don't like the rep that he's getting everywhere he goes. Like, yo, he's crazy. Ah, oh, man, there's something wrong with him. Just because he stood up and was like, "Yo, man, y'all need to start respecting black wrestlers and stop trying to write us off every five minutes." And they was like, "Yo, nigga, you crazy? You got your damn mind." Shy says he was on a month to month. Damn, nigga. Like a project. Like, 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 like a T Mobile contract? Like what? Like, 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 a, like a metro? Like a metro phone? Yeah, Yo, well, you had my man on straight talk? Everybody had a sidekick contract like that, dog. Everybody had a sidekick contract like that. I'm saying shout out to AIM. And, um, bro, like, he really got released. He was like, man, that's fucked up. So now what you going to do? I don't know, man. <clears throat> sign up. Uh, you, it, it, like, you can't, be, you can't be too crazy if, if people can't sign on you, too. That's true. Yeah, yeah, bro. You gotta, you, like, you gotta be worth it in some way. Yeah. Can we, uh, can we take it to NXT 2.0 block? You know what I'm saying we are not from 63rd. That's what. <laughs> Let's that's, get it. That's what I check, I check in with the real one. That's why I'm in. That's why I'm in the middle of O block. Where you at? You see the hoop? Where you at? I'm in the middle of O block. Yo. First things first. Look at him," said Charleston White. "Obey your thirst." Um, Carmelo Hayes returned in a banger, a banger, an absolute banger with Giovanni. What is it, v- v- Vinci? How do you say this yeah. nigga's name? Vinci. 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 Is there an N in there? Is there an N in there? Is Vinci? I feel like, there's, yeah. I feel like there's an N in there. It's Vinci. Okay, was it, it, it's All right, Vinci? Cool. Fabian Eichner lost. <laughs> yo, yo. Fabian, you know Carmelo loses to a little nigga named Fabian. We said that shit on episode two. Fabian's not winning nothing. Only the only nigga I ever heard named Fabian was like on Ned's Declassified. That's uh, the first time the Raiders, asked him was heard that name. The, there was a nigga on the Raiders named Fabian. He was ass, just like this nigga. That's why he lost. So uh, Damn, Carmelo. Bro. <laughs> bro named Fabian. The only thing I saw from this show was Paul Heyman doing the narration at the beginning. Did they call it Heat Wave based on the um, based on the ECW pay per view name, or was that just something like they just came up with and like, yo, yeah? 
on accident. Is that why <laughs> you did like, it? Oh yeah, that was like an oh yeah moment. It was like oh yeah, I forgot about that shit. Right, man, really, get in the booth and record some shit. Through. That's funny. Get in the booth and record this, they this they intro, bro. But they didn't realize that shit till the fucking Mandy Rose match, nigga. They was like, oh yeah, that shit was fucking um the ECW pay per view, huh? Man, we're fucking geniuses, bro. Mandy Mandy Rose beat up some ankle weights too. That was great. Hey, bro. Some sometimes you stumble onto some more time booking. We not we not even talking about that right now. We definitely not going over that. What the fuck? We not talking about that. I meant I meant to click that one above it. (laughs) My bad. We not even talking about that. Don't even worry about it. Yes. For those of you that are in the know, Vinci. There you go. Good looking. You feel me? Vinci. Cora Jade defeated Roxy. You don't say. You don't say. Yeah, at the, at the, at the snatching y'all hearts, you know what I'm saying? In the middle of Walmart, she also snatched Roxy's heart. Yeah. And then, if we want to be honest, we got NXT UK Drillmatic. Oh. It's like it's like, bro. It's almost like the whole NXT roster just pulled up. NXT UK roster just pulled up and was like, "Nah, here's Gallus. Bodies, bodies, <laughs> bodies, bodies." <laughs> you feel me? It was Head like, shot, yo, yo, NXT UK pulled up and said, "Arm, leg, leg, arm, head." <laughs> first, your motherfucking wood trip this year. All right. First, right, because y'all been pulling up to our show. Y'all Taking been pulling up bells. to our show. You feel me? So we didn't see it time, We didn't have it. How many times you in the K? How many times I'm in the UK? You in the UK? I want some of them belts. <laughs> I want some of them trophies. <laughs> what the hell is Brooks and Jensen at? Yeah, we got a heritage cup, but we ain't got a dusty cup. You feel me? Like, hold on now. Yeah, so <clears throat> niggas did we got B Priestley. You feel me? AKA Blair Davenport. Yeah. We got Yo, is her and, um, Gallus. Is her and Will Ospreay still together? I have no idea about people's that shit relationship don't matter. status. That shit this is don't not matter. a dating yeah, show. Bully, you niggas. Damn, yeah, bro. <laughs> like, yo, what about Turnbuckle of Love? <laughs> what about that? Salute. But that but that is a dating show. This okay. is not all right, a dating all right, show. All right. Salute Shout to Turnbuckle of Love. You see, I only have one yeah, hey, hey, left right now. Hey, if, 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 if fuck fuck fight TV. If y'all don't know <laughs> hey, hey, what Turnbuckle of Love is, what the fuck? Fight TV don't pay us, nigga. Fuck them niggas. They want to hey, pay us, pay hey. us. And we can say salute to hey. Fight TV. You feel me? Hey, yo, Battle <laughs> Slam on there tomorrow. Check that out at 7 o'clock, bro. Check out, hey, check out Battle Slam. You feel me? The Takeover. Yes, indeed. That's on Fight but TV. After that, that's a, but after that, that's a nasty segue, bro. <laughs> say what I said. It ain't a segue. segue. It ain't a segue. Because we still oh, here. Horrible, horrible, statement, horrible, whatever nigga. you want to call it. Gallus jumped. Gallus jumped Diamond Mine, <clears throat> and then so about break up too. They pulled up on uh, Brooks and Jensen and said, "Yo, we I want the you titles." <laughs> and they then we too. got a we we got a, no, they didn't. They, they was just talking. But uh, then <clears throat> in the main event, after Braun Breaker has defeated JD McDonough. That's his name Fuck now? <laughs> McDonough. Head, nigga. Yeah, bobblehead face ass nigga. <laughs> Jordan Devlin. Bobble- yeah, lost Jordan bobblehead. To, yeah, I got you. He, he lost to Braun Breaker and then Good. the new NXT UK <laughs> champion. But the, the tournament's not even over. The tournament hasn't even, it's not even over yet. <laughs> it, hasn't, it hasn't even started, I don't think. I was just about to no. say that shit. Like, yo, you niggas, yo, you niggas just gonna shit on your whole rollout, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm the champ, nigga. Even though you ain't seen it yet. <laughs> that's some that's some that's some fucking WCW Halloween havoc shit right there. <laughs> like, y'all gonna see it later, but this is what happened. Yo, NXT UK is out of here, nigga. All y'all niggas is over Tyler, here. Tyler Tyler Bate. Big strong boy. Bro. That's that's he Do gonna take that title, Tyler nigga. Bate. He don't he even look the same, title. bro. Who don't look he the same? A, he got a, a ponytail now. He look big, baby like, brought Lester Bates. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? <laughs> Why he doesn't he look the same? What what do you mean by that when you say he doesn't look the same? Like, bro, he don't look the same. Last time I saw him, bro, like 
he looked like he looked like a threat. Now he just looked like a homeless nigga. Tyler Bate? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess you, you don't you don't, you don't like the way he did his ponytail or something. Like, what's the nah, bro? That's a na- that's a nasty ponytail, bro. All right. Man man buttons. You don't like man buttons? Nah, but bro, bro let's did that shit. The niggas liked it. Hater, bro. But but you yeah, uh, this this might be the first time Braun Breaker has somebody he can actually work with since um since Dolph Ziggler that can actually do some shit because they put him with Joe Gacy then they put him with the to the moon nigga then they put him with um JD McDonough and all of those three rivalries were duds like hopefully Tyler Bate can get him out the mud because it, I don't think it's him bro people are saying like oh yeah well you know he kind of ass anyway I, I I don't know what y'all saw in Braun Breaker from the beginning I'm like he just needs a good foil. He needs some. He needs a good um opponent for him, bro. He needs he needs a Joker to his Batman. And those three niggas ain't it. He should lose this match. Whenever it is, wherever it is, I don't know if it's gonna be a unification because I don't know what's going on with NXT UK. Ooh, uh, yeah, seen that. They're talking about like yo that they might merge the brands. Bro, if you're gonna hold your belt up, you never hold your belt up to fucking non unify your belt. Holding the belts up at the same time, that's what you do. Unify the belts. But like, bro, if they unify the belts, you're you'll be getting rid of the best design for a world championship. And I'll say it, I don't give a fuck. In professional wrestling as a whole, that's the best looking belt. Right out there bro that should look prestigious right. and you just gonna get rid of it for I right, bro even in some well, you know, capacity you no know, pete dunn had that shit in his mouth you know what i'm saying He's running around. <laughs> oh speaking of pete dunn you're welcome he like yo he's trending this week <laughs> but we'll get on we'll get on to that later we'll, oh yeah you got you're welcome you got yeah yeah thank you but that's a that's a good you're segue. Welcome. that's a segue jizzle that's a segue I'm trying. I'm trying my best to strive for That's greatness. But yeah, man. Pete Dunn this week, he was a topic conversation and uh, he was trending on Sunday. I wonder you know, why. I wonder to, why. I wonder why to, uh, Pete Dunn was trending. You feel me? Because we was, like, uh, was like, yo, Triple H, next mission. Restore the universe, bro. Restore Pete Dunn to his former glory. Because I'm going to tell you something right now, bro. I ain't rocking with this butch shit. I've had I had like a couple of conversations with uh, the guys over the comeback spot, stack guy Greg, the good brother Cornell, and they was like, "Yo, man, the crowd is into it and and everything like that." I'm like, "Bro, I'm all for Pete Dunn having a character or whatever, but I, I'm not rocking with this, bro. You look you you scrappy dude dressed up in gangs of New York cosplay, bro. I can't take you seriously." This, yeah, see? Listen, I'm all for like character changes and trying something different, but this particular um thing that they've got going on with Pete Dunn, a butch or whatever, this does not give him a better career trajectory. Like this change, like it doesn't position him better for the audience to be more you feel me acceptable or for the audience to go up more for him. This just makes him like a loose cannon comedy character. Who wants that? I mean, he's making the best it's of what he's doing. So- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He did an interview and he was like, yo, um, I always wanted to do some other stuff. I always wanted to do like, um, you know, the, the gangs in New York shit, uh, paraphrasing. But he was like, I always wanted to do something like that. But I read that interview and it kind of sounded like, I'm making the best out of what I got right now. Like <laughs> yeah. it, it, that's when it salad. came across because like, yeah, I'm like, bro, I'm making chicken salad, uh, chicken shit. And I he like I like I read that interview and I was like, eh, maybe he wants to stay as it, maybe it's not. This I was still like standing on what I said. This shit ain't for me. And lo and behold, my man posts a picture of himself. Not as butch. Not as butch. Not as much, but as Pete as Dunn. So I was like, hmm. Belt his mouth. 
Hmm. The bruiser. I thought, Walter, I, thought, I thought Walter killed this nigga <laughs> two years ago. I was like, yeah, he's dead, bro. There's nothing you can now, do. Now, that's something that Triple H can do as far as changing a character or changing somebody's, you know, uh, uh, the whole their whole wave. That uh, coupled with the the recent uh, conversations about Dewdrop going back to mm-hmm. Piper Nevin, possibly, Piper. possibly. Yeah, salute to Piper. You feel me? Piper. The Triple dude, H can do whatever the fuck he wants, and that's what's so hilarious. <laughs> he can do whatever the fuck right. he wants. So if if, if we're going into that conversation, Ben, we did have a question of the week this week. Some of the frenemies on Twitter were uh, tapped in and and they uh, gave us some of their opinions on maybe what Triple H should do now that he's in power and head of creative. Ben, you got it. Yeah, let me... Let me read some of them off. I'm not going to read all of y'all. Cause some of y'all cheated, bro. Some of y'all said multiple things in there. And I'm like, yo, I, next time I'm going to put more rules in there because y'all is y'all habitual line steppers. I'm going to read some of these off. <laughs> Rules, nigga. I'm going to read some of these off. Bodega Stood says, bring back CFO and Jim Johnson. I'm and? and <laughs> WWE bro. the label? And. Hey. Hey, 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 take, take him on the scream tour. Take him on the scream tour. Take him on the scream tour. You know what I'm saying? DJ yeah, D-Ray. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're back DJ screen, CFO. You know, this should be the scream tour. <laughs> take him on the scream tour. You got it. Next up. Good. Yo, uh, Bushy Kid says, I split the world in tag titles to have official brand split. The arenas have to have unique sets. Like back in the early 2000s. Like, yo, man, you see, you put multiple things up in here. What do y'all think about uh, the like splitting up the titles and everything like that? Or in um, the first round, I think they should do it. I think they should split up the titles. I think it's um, I think it's been long enough. Actually, I saw a a comment um, or I don't know if it was a comment or somebody tweeted it, but <clears throat> next week um, on Raw they're going to be in Toronto, and somebody suggested that uh, the the Usos and Sami Zayn should appear on the show at some point and they should get fed up with Sami Zayn and jump him. Kevin Owens <laughs> make the save. Kevin Owens just like turned super heel on, on Raw. Like he, he was already heel, but he was like, yo man, I'm now I'm super evil. Did he but turn he, super heel or did he just say, respect me? Allow murdered, me to reintroduce myself. He and, murdered Elias' brother, nigga. That shit was crazy. His dad, his granddaddy had to show up. He was like, "Yo, man, it killed my boy." <laughs> Look at this, like, yo, 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 Sammy Owens, nigga. <laughs> yo, All right, right yo, who's yo, next? Yo, Sammy, yo, who's Sammy next? Kev. Okay. Uh, Mansa Musa the seventh says, "Bring back weight divisions without treating the heavyweight champ as the only guy worth anything. The top guy in UFC has rarely been the." Heavyweight champ, the world cruiserweight champ is still the champ and can still be the face of the company. So do what? Bring back weight division with like a, a heavyweight and light heavyweight. Then what, nigga? You want a welterweight, yeah. nigga, and a, and, a, and a lightweight, nigga? Like, a strong you, you weight want division. Yeah, like, nigga. Bro, like, what do you like, want, yo, nigga? <laughs> so Jizzle's like, yo, if you want that shit, go watch. Uh, uh, uh MMA, nigga. No, yeah, no, man. What's, what's that shit? PFL. No, no, go no. watch bad go go watch bad girls club nigga if you want what you want nigga this is out <laughs> nigga if you want like, listen everybody need to fight everybody because everybody could That's be it. beat nigga everybody like, could be beat nigga it's like yo if you want that shit go watch mlw nigga leave yeah, me alone over here you know what i'm you saying what, 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 what i'm saying what a rascal got all the belts shout out to the gang you know what i mean yeah amante says send ron to japan to compete in the g1 climax Hey man, you got, you got a little too much dip on your chip. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like we cool, but we ain't that cool. Nigga, I just got here, nigga. Like, let me do this first, and then I might talk about sending some niggas over there. Shout out Tamatanga. Yo, man, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Beat the shit out that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yo, JY White Henderson, You know what I'm saying? Got stomped out. You know what I'm saying? In the name of in the name of Make the Stallions pet. Now you gotta beat up. Now you gotta. Uh, now you gotta beat Okada. Damn, bud. Well, just be screaming like that? Jay White. Tama Tonga versus Will Ospreay for the, and the finals of the G One. That'd be hard. Bro, It'd be something different. Yo, he's the right. smoothest wrestler. He's one of the smoothest wrestlers I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I never seen if I just, 
Tama Tonga, like he just he just glides the, like somebody just glides at the ring like that, my nigga. It, just, it looks it looks like hey, like Tom- Timberland with the like Timberland with the fucking uh, with the broom, nigga. I'm just like, look at this nigga blood. <laughs> Tama Tonga's whole wrestling style is when the Rock hit the people's elbow on British Bulldog and he slid across the ring. <laughs> That's all. It doesn't matter if the Rock counts to three. Smooth, <laughs> run it. Okay, Ben, you got it. Go ahead. Uh, Vaughn Resper says. Besides bring back Naomi and Sasha, introduce a mid card women's title. No, <laughs> but I said, no, next question. All right, bro. No, Ar- all right, bro. Arkel 1824 <laughs> says, Get rid of one of the throwaway pay per views and bring back King of the Ring as a pay per view. Which pay per view, though? It can't, I'm not a, the, it, can't, it can't be one of the fucking um, Saudi shows you were saying because them niggas is getting NBA Young Boy contract money for yeah, that. So, so that's not going anywhere. So I'm not opposed to bringing back old pay-per-views, but what I think that Triple H should do, and I don't know if anybody suggested this, but I think he should get rid of the gimmick pay-per-views. Hell in a Cell, don't need it. You don't need it. Oh, we that don't, brings we don't, us to we our don't, next question. Oh, go ahead. Tide Season says get rid of Elimination Chamber and Hell in a Cell pay per views and only use those match types when needed. Well, get get money in the bank out of here too, then. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I I like money in the bank. bank. Money in the bank. bank, Money in the bank used to be on fucking WrestleMania, and that made and that made the shit like (laughs) yeah. You know but they're like, trying to do the big five thing, you feel me, and make the money in the bank like more important. That's why they tried to do it in the stadium this year and it didn't work. But, so, you know so you think saying? Hell in a Cell is, is, is less important than money in the bank? I think Hell in a Cell does not need three Hell in a Cell matches. I, that's what I think you need to pay for you you anyway. TLC. Yeah. Did we get TLC out of here too, Dave? That's just yes. basically a fucking. Yeah, get TLC out of here too. Get it out of here. They already got it out of here. We didn't have a TLC pay per view last year. Tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs. Oh I remember that dumb shit. <laughs> TLCS, and, my and nigga. Stairs. <laughs> like, oh, you man, we got. We got. We got a <laughs> chairs match. I was like, bro, what the fuck is a chairs what the fuck match? Is a chairs match, nigga. Like, what are you gonna do? Throw chairs at each other, nigga. Like nobody's nobody's even throwing chairs, nigga. That's nigga, all they did. Like chairs. even. Like even the first one, they was like, "Yo, man, let's test the boundaries of this match." But Batista kicked Undertaker in the nuts, and then Teddy Long came out there. That's not how y'all go in this match. Not on my show. And it's like, Player. please start the match, player. Did nobody put no? Did nobody? <laughs> did this man just do the Teddy Long? He just did the Teddy Long. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is the greatest episode ever. <laughs> yo, yo, who yo. done it? Yo. yo, who done it? Who done the Teddy Long? It was Ben. That's who did yo. it. The Teddy Long, yo. Hey, hey you got to do the Teddy Long joint on the screen tour, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. You got to do the Teddy Long joint on the Steam tour on the screen tour. Hey, can you, hey, can you imagine Headband JD coming out, coming out like, hey, here come Bow Wow, ah, Bow Wow Wow, you be yo, you be yay. <laughs> yo, that's. We're going to read just like a, just a couple more of these. Uh, MM Benny 2 says, live event in South Africa. I need this shit, but that doesn't count. Then it would be splitting up the profits to push Montez, but push him while he's still in the team. Hey, bro, what you want? Oh, you, want the, you, you want the show in South, South Africa? Africa or you want Montez to get? You want Montez to get the push, bro? You can only have one. Yeah, yeah. You say, yo, you know, like you know, there's white people in South Africa, and that's mostly that's who's there. But white people love Montez. I bet he be jumping high and shit. Shout out to Trevor Noah. Shout out to Trevor Noah. You know what I'm saying, bro, they need oh. to. They need to. They need to have another Canada show. That's what they need to do. Yeah. I think, they're test- I think they're testing the waters with this clash. I don't of the know who put this comment on the screen and kept it there. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Bro, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> respect nuts on my show, player. What is happening? I'm looking at the tweets and I'm trying to I'm trying to read off this shit. Okay, the next one. Uh, Little Moon <laughs> on RB says. New title designs such as WWE tag titles, Universal tag titles, and Raw SmackDown's women's titles. No. Uh, <laughs> all right, bro. Next one. Next caller. 
Uh, shit. Ali underscore confidence says R Truth wins every belt. Y'all wilding in here. <laughs> Women's tag yeah, title belt? by himself. You name it, he holds on to every time. Yeah, y'all wilding, bro. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> Salute um, us, friends. <laughs> this is why we don't be asking y'all we'll niggas shit. <laughs> we, yes, yo, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Ah, uh, man, I'm gonna read this one. I'm read this last one. Terry Williams, shout out to you, bro. Young Black underscore man says WWE and New Japan partnership. We just said no to that. I'm sorry, bro. I mean, uh, you can't did, do that yeah. while you can't do that while they have the AW partnership. Like that, I, I just don't see that happening. But New Japan does whatever the fuck they want, and that's what's so hilarious. <laughs> they be doing whatever the fuck they want, just like in the corner over there, just like yeah, man. Listen, we doing whatever we want over here. Y'all want to work with us? Cool. But you know, like this will be over here. Let's sing y'all shit. Chisuke. Yeah, Chisuke don't go over there without fucking New Japan's fucking nod of approval, nigga. They're the Shook Knight of the wrestling game. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they're the Shook Knight that never got in trouble. Okay, real quick, real quick. Rapid fire. Fuck fuck them. Fuck them questions. Fuck them the question of the week. We'll do it again next week. We got another question for y'all. Salute to the frenemies for participating. You feel me? Big action. But rapid fire, real quick. What do y'all think uh, about the recent episode uh, uh, of Raw this week? Then you go first. Oh, I I loved it. Like, bro, I felt like they took the three hours of Monday Night Raw and made it all feel important because you had matches, especially, you had, especially the women's matches, they had, like, two commercial breaks in each match. Like, each one was going, like, 15 minutes are over and they made everything like whether it was promos, whether it was a backstage interview, it all felt important and it was leading somewhere. That's what oh, I like. Oh, wait, wait, about. wait, real quick. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, Does the tag team tournament seem important? <laughs> all right, I'll see y'all next yeah, week, bro. I'll see y'all next <laughs> week. Get a late, hey, 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 while, while we're on here, bro, I just want to say one thing. Fuck that funky ass tweet that you made to promote the show. I, I, I saw it on yeah. there and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to retweet this because we're promoting the show, whatever, whatever, and I'm not going to read it. And then I looked at it for a second. I was like, why am I tagged in this? Why isn't, <laughs> why isn't Jizzle tagged in this too? I was like, what's, what's going on? Why, why is this me? And then I was like, let me read this shit. I thought it was and a great tweet. And I seen tweet. on there, I was like, all right, bro. I was like, who, I was like, who's writing this shit? I thought it was a great tweet, bro. And y'all just I've decided, guys, yeah, cook. Yeah, cooking, bro. Fuck y'all, I've man. decided that uh, I'm going to promote the show like Tony Khan now. So anything Tony that Tony Khan, Khan says to promote Rampage or to promote Dynamite or whatever, I'm just basically going to copy and paste that and make it into a PE3 tweet because I enjoy the way he tweets. Uh, <laughs> for those of you that uh, for those of you that also enjoy the way that Tony Khan tweets, know that you can come over to my Twitter, oh my God, Graham, you feel me? And I'll be tweeting like Tony Khan. You're, you're oh more than God. welcome to send me suggestions on somebody yeah. that I should, uh, anybody, pick a name, anybody that I should insult and uh make a false claim about and never make an apology for this is how so, you got this is how you got blocked by Ari Davari, bro. Listen, he right got here. listen, listen, he, he blocked me and got fired two weeks after. That was his fault. All right, check this out. Bro, <laughs> little B? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> he should he should unblock me. You feel, I'm like I'm like Apollo Cruz, you feel me? I can gaze into the future. <laughs> God, I hate that shit. I hate that shit. It's all good, man. It's all good. All right, Jizzle, you got it, man. Floor is yours. P E three S P. Man. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, there you go. That's yeah. all I need. Hey, man. Um, I don't know where to start. Hey, man. Does Katie want to be a six, a sixer or a pelican dog? Oh, oh no. KD wants to be everything now. You know what I'm saying? He want to be a blood. He want to be a crib. He want to be a girlfriend. Like, I don't know what's going on with KD, but uh, he was working out with James Harden, and he might be a 76er. And now they're saying that he might go to the Pelicans for Brandon Ingram, but they want to keep Brandon Ingram. So, like, I don't know what, what kind of um, cocaine dreaming that um, New Orleans is doing, but um, 
Like, like you want KD, but don't want to give up nothing. Like, what are you like? What are you talking about? I picked his name. First off, nigga, if, that is a disgusting picture of, of KD, <laughs> but it's, but it's well deserved. All right, my bad, Where does he go? Who done it? Who done it? That is a good question. Uh, Boston? KD done it. Boston? They definitely done it. Where you going to go? I would like to see KD and Zion blood. With like, because let me see, because they have they have they have like six hundred and twenty two picks from um the Anthony Davis trade and the um Drew Holiday mm-hmm. trade, so you can definitely just like yo man take all these shits and then we'll give you Herb Jones and <laughs> Herb Jones, CJ McCollum, and uh, Jose Alvarado and six picks for KD, and KD they can do that shit. Baysmore? Yeah, KD and fucking um, Hey, KD is not going to sack, bro. He is not going to Sacramento. <laughs> he's, he's not going to Sacramento, my G. He is not going to be a king. It is not. It's not. Yo, happening. he 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 might retire, even though he said he's not going to retire. You imbeciles. So, so, so Wait, how, did, how how is me being a barb even relevant? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> For what? Me personally, like, on, I wouldn't take SMH. this level of disrespect. Come on, Russell Kid. Hey, bro. Like, yo, man. So you, so you joining in? So was you? So did was you, did you take advantage of the green light that she gave on Sunday, or did you not just? Are you just chilling in the background when she like gave y'all green light to go off? Bro, I just hey, been bro, chilling no streaming. Card, hey, no uh, Cardi, no clout. I've no been. Cardi, I just no been clout. chilling. I just been streaming. Super freaky girl. You feel me? And I just I just been chilling. You feel me? Hey, if somebody loves me out there, feel free buy me buy me the super freaky girl hoodie. Yo, okay, man, sure. I appreciate I'm glad, you. I'm glad so you, you didn't join. So you didn't join the barb should be doing. If if the rest of the barb did what this barb does, you know what I'm saying you wouldn't have to do what you guys do. But uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anywho, uh, Liz, let's go. Let me let me let's, let's talk about this WNBA shit that I seen. So Liz Cambridge, right? She's taking a break in quotation marks. From the WNBA for um because she needs to get herself together, aka I need to take a WNBA break because I was being an asshole for the last eight and a half years that I've been in the league. First off, she definitely told the Nigerian national team to go back to your third world country. <laughs> yeah, nobody forgot about that shit either. So uh yeah, no so when we seen that shit, like, yeah, nobody felt bad. You know what I'm saying? Like you thought you would get the Skylar Diggins treatment. Nah, you know what I'm saying? My bad, nah, man. You you saying you think you Lisa Leslie? You know what I'm saying they don't love you like that. So uh, you know thought you mean? was getting a, you thought you was going on a retirement tour. Nah, man. They don't love they you like that. The door for you. So uh, yeah, I'm done with that. And uh, what else is going on? Oh, let's talk about the NFL. First off, NFL plus is bum cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> like I see you niggas. Like I see you yeah, NFL trial? niggas. No, nigga. First off, first off, NFL. This is why I didn't even get the trial. How the fuck are you going to give me a fucking trial to your fucking thing? We say during the preseason and not the actual season. You pieces of shit. Fuck you niggas. No, I'm not getting it now. I get it in week one. How about that? <laughs> you you bitch ass niggas. How you going to give me a free trial during preseason, nigga? I don't want to watch this shit for free, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> We're going to YouTube for this, my boy. Watch this right after AW Dark. <laughs> Bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I, already got, I got NFL Network already on my fucking cable package, nigga. <laughs> like, why don't I need NFL Plus if this is all you're going to show me, nigga? I bet, I bet, like, what are you niggas talking about? Like, you know, NFL Plus. Yeah, hella shit. shit. Game Pass, uh, uh, Game Day. They still got the bag, ticket out there? They still got the Bro, ticket, Red you Zone? feel me? Bro, Red Zone. Red Zone. I watch yeah. Red Zone. I, 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 I do the Red Zone. I don't do I the do. Sunday ticket no more. It's too much. Oh, yeah. It's too much. <laughs> bro, bro, red zone, bro, red zone is is the perfect, is the perfect sports engine. So yeah, but um, right. since we're on football um, still, yo, what, yo, mm-hmm. Rokon Smith said that um the Bears are from sixty third and he wants to be traded. <laughs> you from sixty uh, third? You know what I'm saying? The Bears, the Chicago Bears, you know what I'm saying? Yes, there's a double and a triple entendre in there. You're welcome. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do the research and the science. 
but he wants to be traded. And then the Cowboys are like, yo, we want him, but uh, you know what I'm saying? We're the Cowboys, and so we ought to be fucking everything up, so we're probably not going to do it. So Raiders, go ahead and send whoever they want so we can get Roquan on the team. There you go, bro. Can, can, can you let me can you let me get there? You know what I'm saying? I just want I just wanted to say that Roquan said that the Bears from 63rd. He was saying I thought about that shit all, all day. Was, and all I can't put it on screen, bro. That's all I did. You know what I'm saying? I'll shoot the message. You know I'm saying? Now you're gonna have to wait. You you have to wait one more time, I'm saying, because I want to talk about fucking Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> gonna have to, Aaron Rodgers is gonna have to play until he's 132 years old because I don't know the, the, the love that Jordan Love is giving. <laughs> Yo, Aaron Listen. Rodgers is such a piece of shit. Yo, yo, let me stop. Yo, niggas was mad that Aaron Rodgers said it. He was like, yo, man, niggas was dropping passes. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was running the raw routes. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes niggas need to, you know, listen. But they were like, man, you don't do that as a leader. Like, yes, you do, nigga. Be chastised as a fucking leader, nigga. You niggas on social media talking about, nigga, yeah, bless up, nigga. Time to go to work, nigga. But you dropping <laughs> passes, nigga. Nah, <laughs> Hey, Every day I, I eat, listen, nigga. What Jizzle, a quote, you know I feel you. Fucking shit. Uh, you I'm know fucking I feel you, Jizzle. Because I'm sick of it already, bro. I'm like, bro, these niggas is fucking up. Like, we got a couple of weeks to get this together. You feel me? Like, what is happening? By the way, if anybody has footage of the Eric Stokes and Jarvis Landry fight, please send that my way. <laughs> please Dude, send that like, my way. <laughs> Bro, they was apparently they was chunking him today. What? <laughs> Eric Eric Stokes and Jarvis Landry. He was like, bro, he tried to little bro me. I I don't, I don't play little for nobody, bro. Like no disrespect and nothing like that. But he tried to little bro me, and I'm not with it. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? So I'm like, yeah, you told, he, he told that he told that nigga Jarvis these hands is contagious, bro. They contagious. <laughs> yeah, you call him. You nigga. feel me? Like 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 Mr. Biggs. You feel me? And R. Kelly. You feel me? It's contagious. You feel me? What the hell is going on? Oh, that means that means that means that means Eric Schultz probably locking him up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that means he was probably for sure locking him up. Yo, I'm Jordan saying. Love. Yo, this nigga. No, first of all, let me let me get some Niners talk. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, y'all niggas ain't gonna win shit. But um, <laughs> this nigga Trey Lance look like a fucking fucking. Yo, this nigga Trey Lance might be the truth, but man, like, god damn it. <laughs> God why damn did, it! Why did that report come out today about uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is difficult and he's been ghosting coaches since 2018 or something like really? that? Well, okay, let's fuck up really? his trade value. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. You say who's who's leaking this? John Lynch? I bet you I'm not doing it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like it's not going to stop the fucking Cleveland Browns to trade a, a conditional fourth round pick for him because that's what he's going to get traded for. Every Every quarterback that needs to get off a team that has a young quarterback to develop always gets traded for a fucking conditional fourth round pick. So go ahead and take this conditional fourth round pick <laughs> that we just that we just got from fucking Cleveland. That we just got from Carolina, North Carolina, for the Panthers, nigga. They're gonna give the Panthers pick straight to fucking San Francisco, right. <laughs> so they can give fucking Jimmy Garoppolo, nigga. We're gonna yeah, use yeah. ten games. We're gonna give we're gonna give you thirteen million. We're not give you nineteen. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> we'll give you 13. This is all we got right now. You know what I'm saying? We'll give you 13, and we need you to fucking play these 10 games because Deshaun's about to get 10, 10 to 12. I heard they're going to reach a settlement with this nigga. They was like, L -l let's reach out a settlement because it's not going to be the so it's not going to be the whole season. It's not going to be six. So it's probably going to be about 10. Yo, this man put out like this man put out his opinion. Like, I'd be cool with eight games. <laughs> like, nigga, don't what the, you don't get to decide this. You, 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 you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> What you need to do, you nasty, nasty man. You're a nasty bad hey, man. Bro. You're just dirty, horny, sex man. 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 All the others. Nasty man. You're a nasty bad man. You cannot yeah, go to the Scream Tour. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In your first fucking football act. So don't, don't say nothing. You know what I mean? Take this 10 games and shut your mouth. You're probably going to get 11. I give him 11 and a half. Go with eight games. Hey, bro, just get him out of here all together, bro. Bro, they're giving that they offer that nigga 12 nigga from the jump. Hey. Nigga, I don't took that shit. <laughs> you like, what? 12? Fred. Cool. Fred, don't disrespect me like that. Yo, Jordan Love. <laughs> Yo, shout I don't out to read Fred, the comment bro. for the listeners. I read it. I read it. So Jordan <laughs> Love is featured the Green Bay Packers when Aaron Rodgers retires. You have another great quarterback to step in. <laughs> I love it. Listen, love we've it. had 30 what years love? of amazing quarterback do, play. Got to do 30 it. years. 30 years of amazing quarterback play. 
He's going oh, to I ruin. <laughs> he's gonna you ruin. Your line, he's, gonna be, he's gonna be the bad boys pisses of your fucking of your of your of your title. Run. <laughs> Fred is out here lying. This nigga like, Jordan Love. Like, on, I never seen. I never seen a quarterback air mail a fucking pass. Sick of this ah. nigga, man. Ain't no love, like, nigga. How about that? Ain't that no shit love. shit stank, don't it? Ugh. It do stank. Like, don't what it? my son doing? Sick of this shit, man. Oh, bro. Yo, get my son out of here, man. <laughs> let hey, man, let my man get some fresh with the fresh. You, you got it. You got it. Please, let's 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 get off of this because I'm upset. Okay. Upset. <laughs> <Yo. sighs> Okay, so <clears throat> where are we at with it? Jizzle said he wanted to talk about uh, LeBron or LeBronson Reed, who just beat Okada in the G1 a couple weeks ago. You feel me? Last week, I think it was. Oh, we talking, we talking about the highest paid NBA player ever, bro. Oh, yeah? Talk to me. What's going on? LeBron is James, he, is, 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 is he signing the extension? Yeah. Yeah, man, he signed an extension. And the other thing, the other or information it, that it, I it's found an extension out this or an option? I'm sorry. Was it an extension think, or an option? An extension. It's an extension. Okay, cool. That's the other thing I found about LeBron James week, he shoots lightning from his fucking fingertips. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Did know you that. know that? Yeah, he does. No, I think I it's like $548 million. That's a lot of fucking money. Oh, that's a lot of somebody broke money. somebody broke it down um the last time he signed a contract with him and it was like they were like broke it down like by the hour what he makes and it was like insane numbers i was like bro give me two seven hundred and forty two thousand dollars every 30 minutes yeah some shit like that <laughs> <laughs> it's some crazy shit man okay the Gresham PWI jokes were never funny. Phil, I love you. Phil, I love you. Salute to the Grab City team. Them Gresham PWI jokes were hilarious. <laughs> oh, who said that? Sorry. It? Salute to Phil. Yeah, Phil made that. Five hundred thirty uh two million dollars guaranteed. That's for the whole duration, bro. I I love the um I love Jonathan Gresham PWI jokes, bro. That shit was hella funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm she sorry. Was great. Bro. I don't care about none of that, man. You ain't no, ain't no way you gonna tell me. Ain't no way you gonna tell me your PWI ranking should have some bearing on how I book you on this show. Shut up. I'm like, yo. I'm like, nigga. I'm like, Roy, get this nigga out of here. <laughs> Please, Claudio, uh, you going over, bro? I'm just let you know that right now. <laughs> I'm like, Claudio, smack this nigga up. Fuck all that shit, you feel me? Do we have anything else? Jizzle's gone, so no, we don't have anything else. But I guess we can go ahead and cut it. Uh, oh, there he go. He's coming back. He's back in the. He back in here. With that said, regardless, we're over time. <laughs> it's all Gucci. It's all good, ladies and gentlemen. People with jobs, people without jobs. Salute to y'all for watching. Salute to y'all for tuning in. Salute to y'all for listening. Please follow the guys at the enemies PE3 on Twitter. Enemies PE3 on Instagram, also on TikTok. Hit us up on Facebook. Join the Facebook group. It's a bunch of niggatry going over there. You feel me? Going on over there. Powerful you niggatry you can, at work. You, you can join in on the fun. You know what I'm talking about? Now, it's not outside the door. If, you, if you'd like to follow us directly, you can go ahead and do so. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Of course, I go by the name Oh My God Graham. You can find me right there. Jizzle, talk to him. You feel him? Welcome back. Say something stupid. Bro, this shit fucking man, man, I had a little power surge at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? When you live in an apartment or uh, up, I'm saying downstairs for some niggas. But you know what I'm saying? Get yeah, at me. Niggas said power surge. Man, you, you living with uh, you living with static shock, nigga? You Virgil? Yeah, man. That nigga live right upstairs. You know what I'm saying? And he got seven <laughs> kids. I just keep walking around upstairs all day. But um, it's uh, yeah, you're know saying yeah, that's me with two E's. You know what I'm saying everywhere except Instagram, where there's another E over there. You know what I mean? And uh, Ben ain't the champ. You know what I'm saying I'm the champ forever. Yeah, I'm the champ. This nigga Static Shock went over to Virgil's house. He was like, I thought I told you not to invite no niggas over here, man. Got <laughs> niggas up in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so Yo, he heard that. 
<laughs> he heard that shit. And he was like, yo, man, I'm just going to leave. He's like, nah, man, you didn't mean it. You can stay. I'm like, nah, he definitely meant that shit. <laughs> you got a dip. <laughs> nah, nah, man. I'm sorry, Virgil. Like, I'm sorry, what, nigga? How many times has he said this, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, you knew this shit when you invited me over here. We can hang on my dad's house. Like this nigga be beating my ass and shit like that. But at least he ain't gonna call you no no names, nothing like that. Uh, yo, he, yo, man, yo, your dad been show called Urkel a nigga before. <laughs> yo, man, that damn Urkel, that damn nigga messing up the whole show. <laughs> I like, I like to see a working nigga family on my TV, man. He messing it up. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yo, y'all can follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at underscore Son of Mars underscore. And um, like like Graham said, we have a Facebook group. Go ahead and join that. Go ahead and turn that up. And like real quick before we get out of here, yo, man, we, we talked about it already, about Hit Row coming back. But I just want to say shout out to AJ, man. Like thank you for like everything you did before like when you were released for coming on here putting in like not one but two interviews even when you said like yo man i'm only gonna stop in for 20 minutes and you gave us an hour of your time bro i'm really appreciative of that and like yo i can't wait to see the next chapter run in wwe yeah 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 because i text this man to say yo bro you had the internet going nuts you feel me what happened what's, what's going on this man ain't text me back after smackdown go off he say shh <laughs> the fuck off my phone, nigga. <laughs> Anyways, you feel me? I'm talking about we'll be back with it another edition next week. Feel free to join us. Feel free to tap in. Stay tuned in. Stay dangerous. Did Virgil have a paddock with the statics on the wrist? The Virgil did not have a paddock with the statics on the wrist. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Virgil, uh, Virgil, uh, Virgil, uh, Virgil uh, did you feel me? But Virgil, you feel me? Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? You know, the, the meat sauce king did not. But if you want to tap nah. in with the kings, if you want to tap in with the kings, you can do so at the <clears throat> NPC PE3. And you can see us here next week. Same place, same time, same channel. PE3 TV. It is what it is. Until then, salute to y'all. And of course, take care of yourselves and each other. We out. Hey, bro, Rhea Ripley just really run around beating up niggas. Like, look, Randall Keith would never. Um, I just want to say thank you all. And as always, fuck everybody else. I love y'all. <laughs>